If you are a data analyst or work in an office in a productive sector, you may have handled many PDF files. However, reading all the PDFs to extract precise information or customize any part of the PDF file is challenging. Sometimes, PDF files come in a flattened format that can't be edited. If you are struggling with these issues, then this video is for you. Today, I will introduce you to a PDF editor, which can be the best AI assistant for any data analyst. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Introducing PDF Element 11, a one-stop PDF solution powered by AI. Fast, affordable, and an easy way to edit, convert, sign PDFs, and more. Today, I will share all the interesting features of PDF Element. It's a desktop app. If you don't have it on your system, install it now. All right, this is the PDF Element interface. Here you can see all the previous files I worked on. At the top of the page, you will notice some quick tools such as editing PDFs, converting PDFs, OCR PDFs, summarizing PDFs, and batch processing PDFs. Let's start our journey with Open PDF. For example, this is a project proposal to one of our clients. Now imagine you have this proposal and need to understand it. To do so, you would have to read the entire proposal, which is time-consuming, as it's an 11-page file. We can get a summary of the document with a single click. Simply click on Open PDF, and then upload the file. Once the PDF file is uploaded, you can read it from here. To summarize the PDF file, click on the AI Assistant button. You will find various options like AI Chat, AI Summarize, Translate, Grammar Check, and AI Detection Tools. Select the AI Summarize feature. Now you will see two options, Summarize Current PDF and Multiple PDFs. As I've inserted only one PDF, I am selecting the first option, and here you can see that the AI has started its work. Here is the summarized version of the PDF. Honestly, this is the perfect summarization of the proposal. And that's not the end. You can now chat with the PDF and extract any information you want. For example, I am typing, tell me about the budget proposal. A, I has started analyzing the document, and here it is. We got the detailed budget proposal, including all the details. At the end, you can see the page number where the budget proposal is found. You can click here to go to the page. That's really awesome. Now imagine you have another project proposal and you want to compare the budget of both proposals. Don't worry, you can chat with multiple PDFs at one time. To do that, simply click on the attachment icon, then upload the new proposal PDF. Now you can see both PDFs. Okay, let's see the budget difference. I am typing, which proposal has a lower budget? Now A, I will analyze both files and provide us with the result. And here it is. You can see that SI Tech offers a cheaper budget than NR Tech. So now you don't need to read or analyze all the files to find key points or important information. Just ask PDF Element and you will get the answer. Isn't it an amazing feature? All right. Now imagine you wrote this proposal for your client and are a little bit confused about the grammar. Don't worry. You can check for grammatical errors and fix them with just one click. To do that, go to the right side panel and select this little grammar check icon. Now you will have two options, paragraph grammar check and PDF grammar check. If you want to check the grammatical errors of any particular paragraph, copy the text and paste it here. If you want to check the entire PDF, select the PDF grammar check option. Now select the page range and then choose the output folder. Once everything is set, hit the check button. It will take some time and create a new PDF file without grammatical errors. And here is the corrected version. That's really, really amazing. All right, here you will find another amazing feature called AI Translation. Suppose you want to translate this PDF file into Spanish. What do you need to do? Simply click here. Like the grammar check, you will find two options here. The first one is Word Translation. To translate a particular word or paragraph, and to translate the full PDF, select the PDF Translator option. After that, choose the target language and select the page range. Once everything is set, Hit the translate button. It will take some time to translate the document. And here it is. The translated document is ready. Simply click here to open the document. That's amazing. All right, now let me introduce another amazing feature called read aloud PDFs. Imagine you have to read a whole PDF and that's boring, but you can make it interesting with the read aloud PDFs feature. Go to the view tab. 
Now select the page you want to read. After that, select the Read option. Project Proposal About SI Tech Studio SI Tech Studio is a dynamic and innovative technology solutions provider specializing in mobile app development, website design, and development, and digital content creation. It will start reading the content from the page. You can customize the reading experience. To do that, click on the settings icon. Here you can set the reading range, the reading voice, the reading speed, and the reading volume. Technology solutions provider specializing in mobile app development, website design, and development, and digital content creation. Now you don't need to read the document. AI will read it for you, and you can listen to it to get the context. I really love this feature. Okay, if you are not comfortable with this reading mode, you can change it. You can set the reading mode to single page view, two page view, or even 3D read mode. If you want a full page view, enable the AI read mode option. You can chat with the PDF, even in full page view mode. All right, now I will introduce you to another very important feature of PDF element called compare. Imagine you have two proposals or similar project files, and now you want to compare both of them without reading the full document. You can use the compare option. Once you are on this page, insert both files you want to compare. Once the files are here, click on the compare button. And here it is. You can see both files and the differences between them are highlighted. This feature will save a huge amount of time for a data analyst. Another option you will find here is called combine. If you have multiple PDF files and want to combine them into a single PDF file, then use this feature. Once you are on this page, click on the add file button and then upload all the PDF files you want to combine. Once the files are uploaded, click on the Combine option. And here it is. You can see that all the pages have been added from both files. You can change the page positions or numbers by simply dragging and dropping them. Once you are done, to save them as a single PDF file, click on the Extract button. Now set the page range and hit the OK button. And our combined PDF has been saved to our device. All right, let's talk about another interesting and very useful feature. Imagine you have a scanned PDF and want to analyze or customize the text or image from the file. Any ordinary PDF editor won't allow you to do so, but with PDF element, you can. To do so, first, you have to make it customizable. Simply go to the Home tab and select the OCR option. A new pop-up will appear. We have to set the content language and then the page range. Once you are done, hit the Apply button. It will take some time. And here it is. Now you can select all the text or image blocks and edit the document just like a doc file. This feature is really amazing. That's not the end. You can convert any PDF file into a doc file, PowerPoint presentation, image, or even an image file. You simply have to select the format you want to use. And here it is. The file has been converted into a PPT file. There are so many other features available on PDF Element. You should try them yourself. So. Don't forget to try it. Link in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about PDF Element and its new AI features. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy creating.